Hi everybody, it's Glenn Depke, and uh, uh, you may have seen my newsletter that went out yesterday, but I wanted to uh, really address all of my current and past, past clients about this because this is something that is potentially life changing, life altering. And so, uh, what had happened to me a, a few weeks ago is uh, I had it was a typical Monday. I went and worked out on my lunch, which I always do. And I came back and I didn't, I didn't hurt anything. It was just a typical workout. There was nothing unusual. I came back to the office after my workout. And later in the afternoon, I started to notice a pain in the lower portion of my joint of my big toe. Uh, as the day went on, the pain just slightly progressed a bit. But then by the time I got home from that evening, which was about seven o'clock, I, I couldn't put any pressure on the big toe. So I had to walk on my heel. Uh, and it was just because of the level of pain that I was in. Uh, later on that evening, I noticed that I was uh, dealing with a lot of inflammation, so I put the I put the toe up uh, on a couple of pillows, elevated to help with the inflammation. And my wife is just trying to simply put a, a very little bit of essential oils on my toe, very delicately, and it almost sent me through the roof because it was so painful. I really barely was able to sleep that evening, and I woke up the next day with even more inflammation on my toe plus this little like scaly look to the skin around my toe and I was in just so much pain I mean walking was next to impossible you know now I'm freaking out right because I didn't recall hurting anything I didn't you know I didn't seem to do anything to it whatsoever it made no sense to me you know and I was seeking you know I called the the, the gentleman who does my personal training ask his opinion I talked to a chiropractor uh, somebody suggests that maybe my toe was supplex, so the joint, you know, was really out of uh, uh, out of alignment. Uh, so I went and had that addressed, but really nothing was actually moving this at all. And so I was really kind of handicapped on Tuesday, and I went the, the next day. I woke up, and this was still a, a problem. And I came into the office, and I uh, actually saw one of the other practitioners in the office who muscle tested me for this, and it ended up I had an infection in my toe. I mean, really. I mean, who's ever heard of that? You know, but it was a Bartonella infection, and the Bartonella actually does have that kind of scaly skin type of look to it. You know, but uh, and then I have that that particular uh, infection uh, treated to assist my body in overcoming the infection, and you know, within a few days, uh, this had gone away. But it's so bizarre, though. Yeah, you know, because uh, again, whoever thinks of that, like that immediate inflammation and infection and or, or in pain that's tied into an infection. And then a few weeks later, as I had this time period of three weeks where honestly, I was just burning a candle at both ends in the middle. I was just completely exhausted on a regular basis for a few weeks. And I was sitting in a webinar, and in, uh, not a webinar, a workshop. And in, the, and, and in this workshop, I started to notice a little pain in my medial knee, so the inner portion of my knee. Not to, again, not thinking anything of it, but as the day went on, the pain started to escalate to the point where going home that evening, I was walking with a noticeable limp. And that morning, I, it was four in the morning, I just, I, I woke up in excruciating pain with my knee just throbbing. You know, and I get up and, and, and I, there was no way I was falling back to sleep. It was so painful. And, and my knee was just blown up like a balloon. And, and there it was again, it was at Bartonella. You know, I probably never really fully took care of it in the first place. And then the three weeks of, uh, of uh, really not taking care of myself, unfortunately, and overdoing it and not getting enough rest allowed the Bartonella to just simply, rather than my immune system take care of it, the Bartonella moved into my knee and became an issue then. You know, so I wanted to bring this up because it's so invaluable because how many think about it? What would have happened to the average American with this issue? They would have had a problem with their knee and the pain and inflammation. You would have gone to your doctor. You know, the doctor would have uh, uh, potentially recommended that you go see an, an, um, an osteopathic uh, specialist. Uh, so somebody that would uh, probably recommend you get an MRI. Uh, and then if there's any recognized tissue damage, you probably would have had surgery. But still, the problem wasn't the tissue damage in the first place. The problem was the infection. So now you would still have this pain maybe you're in for a second surgery or maybe you're actually put on a pain reliever for the for the pain but again the pain is due to the infection so if nobody's really taking care of the infection the pain's not going to go away and maybe now you're put on an even a more powerful pain reliever and now you get into that cycle of 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 the use of the prescriptions and really high level narcotics you know with some of these pain relievers 
And you know, honestly, I just need to share this because thankful for thankfully for me, I went through this and I had a team of people around me and a belief system within myself that it could be taken care of. But most people don't have the clinicians around them as I do in my office. And most people don't have that same mindset. You know, so I just really wanted to share with this with you because potentially, even if just one of you, this makes a huge difference in your life and actually keeps you from going down the, the, the rabbit hole of, of the use of, of these really almost like narcotics of these pain relievers, then you know what? This video was worth everything to me. All right, so thank you for listening. And hopefully this doesn't happen to you, but if it does, maybe now you'll have an, an, an understanding of what this could be. Thank you so much.